meetings. He's won the Masters seven times. If ever there was a tournament made for Ronnie O'Sullivan, it's this one. One table, a big London crowd. No great surprise that he's favourite again this year. And still big, big tournaments to come, including the World Championship. Well, he's caught it a little bit too thick. The safe ticks five went on to win the title. Lightly hampered over the brown. And the red, pretty straight. Is, but O'Sullivan has done that. Been in 12 finals in the Masters. Seven. Finally. Yeah, in fact, some may argue that he's playing better now than... 13. Joe, in this tournament alone, he's earned just under 1.8 million, just in the Masters. <coughs> With his positional play, there wasn't a lot of room, look. And he finished Maybe ideal one. on the... <laughs> like he's been out there hours already. 29. 37. Didn't quite add in. Just one second, please, Ronnie. He's taken charge of a lot of rowdy matches in this tournament down the years, particularly at the old conference centre. Go into the Reds. Well, he could play for that last loose one. Probably thinks 52. And that's just the two corner pockets. <laughs> that's a good recovery Thank shot. Thirties and in his forties. Sixty one. And it's snooker required. What a start. We see the really great players start off with a century break. 69. Been out there for best part of a couple of hours. Seventy-six. Crowd appreciating that shot. It was a difficult one, made it look easy. 84. Here's this already this season. 91. And just needed one chance here. Three. Absolutely superb. 108. 115. Nine minutes and it's already ominous. He's missed that pick. So the break ends. Wouldn't be one of uh, Snooker's Hellraisers by any means. Got a little bit thick. And Sullivan couldn't be tempted by the pot. And this time it's. <coughs> well, that was a, an unfortunate kiss because it pushed the. A little switched left handed. Black must go. One. <coughs> Could be trouble for everyone season, which is a lot. But we're only in January, so it just shows you how heavily he's been scoring because he didn't but since then he's won three ranking events. Seventy.
25. Should have been high. Difficult to get to the next red. Well no thoughts 30. of maximum for running. Doesn't matter if it doesn't. 40. To the red, to the right of the black, which leaves him on the red to the right corner. 48. Fifty-six. Well, well, big bounces and kicks. But what a recovery shot! Sixty-four. Sixty-seven left. Oh. Well, even by foundational start. Oko food yet to pot a ball. Yeah, 17, 17 minutes. Five. It's taking the match. Another very good cannon. 83. minutes from the start everyone wanting to get in and take the seats to watch this 91. Ronnie O'Sullivan the collection he's up he can tie the highest break She's currently 139, Liang Wenbo. He's just playing exhibition shots here. Look at that for a positional shot. He's not bothered about the highest rig, he just wants to entertain. So 120 in the first frame, 121 in the second. Marco Fu was educated in Canada. Another fantastic player. The layup from this red. Uh, playing into the pack of reds. Played it well. Well, it was a dangerous thing to play that. Could play for the red to the left of the pink. Seven. Oh, well, because he never complains. Sixteen. There it is. Tried everything going clean. It took the opportunity to go into them and it's worked that one. And it's worked out 32. well.
Chris gets on with it. I don't think Ronnie O'Sullivan fifth. Oh, it could be a half chance here for Marco Fu. But he's got a good cue ball. Kofu, especially if it goes in, which it has done from O'Sullivan. Straight back in again, looking. Still hasn't actually missed Nine. a pot when uh, the frame is well won. <laughs> well, Ryan Day. Marco Fu is completely one-sided. He's at the table and playing like this. He played a good safety, Marco Fu, and just slotted it in. Six. 37. Forty-four. Forty-nine. Fifty-two. Fifty. To zero. And still going. It's to pot one, really. Sixty-seven. On every stat, going thirty-two and a half minutes. Oh, so it was a fifty. It was a 74 clearance to follow. Everything so far. He trails 3 0 as he gets frame four and away. Killer instinct. Well, as David said, the two shots that Ronnie. Had. Okay, really, really dug deep there. Showed great resolve to get the win. Happy enough to play the safety down this end of the table, just to have a few shots. Town this today. Concentrating on getting that cue bucket. <coughs> well, being forced into taking this pot on, I think. And he's overcut it. So, O'Sullivan. Color. That could be the problem. And he played up for the brown. Who oh. going in the right corner, uh, the right middle? That couldn't get six. He's over. Had a 
enough for the railing to the middle. And this is a difficult one. Again, made it look easy. Nineteen. Twenty seven. Thirty three. Stephen Hendry was an unbelievable to 38. still be doing this at the age of 42. Hendry retired when he was 43, dropped out. 116 balls to none. Doesn't make out. At all, Fu. Just the odd shot. I mean, here he was kind of forced into a very difficult pot to 45. the middle. Success, 98%. So you put the two together. 53. Sixty. It's sixty-five. Yeah, it's going to be four nil, and this reflects the play. Fu has not potted a single glove and could Seven. be about to make his third century here. Seventy-one. And this is the result. Seventy-seven. Seventy-eight. Head into play. 86. 86. <laughs> what about that? At his absolute best. 93. He just looks so focused right from the start. And this yellow. 58. 100. <laughs> well, it been four centuries. He broke down on 50. 103. In the third frame. Most people, this is how they, you just have to watch. So the break ends at 112, it follows the 120. The form and, uh, you know, especially at a place like this at the Masters where he's got all the support behind him and the, the noise is louder and louder, every mistake you make, you know, some, start to play overly aggressive, open the balls up very early and try to test Ronnie O'Sullivan's long potting. Or he could do um, what a few players have been successful with. So, you know, it, it's funny because I've tried that myself a, a couple of times, just try to take the tempo out of it. But in the break off there, O'Sullivan has ended up behind the green. You know, he's just sort of rubbing it in a little bit for Foo. But it's not over yet, that's the point. No, in a, in a best out of 11, even if you're 4-0 down, there is problem is that Ronnie, he hasn't even really made a mistake yet in the match, and he's on 98% pot success, but the mistakes he's made, the, the three misses he's made have, have all been when, when the frame was already over, so he's... he's Who has been whitewashed here before? That was all. But yeah, Marco would prefer a frame like this... Um, is, is creating the openings very early in frames. He he doesn't allow this sort of situation to carry on for too long. You know, Ronnie will always be looking to... to Last week, I'm sure he's been looking forward to the Masters ever since uh, the end of Christmas. He's had no easy chances at all. More relaxed when he's playing a top player than sometimes at um, you know, some of these events with uh, 128 players starting off in round one. Um, sometimes when you're on the back table, you, know, you don't really feel part of the tournament. Oh. And that seems yeah. to
I was surprised when he played that because he, he came around and had a look at that and I'm sure I'll get a cheer if this goes in. It'll be an ironic one. <laughs> you know, Sullivan show here today because uh, Ronnie's played, you know, near enough perfect snooker, like but it's important that he still believes in himself and foul. Mark a full four. between the cushion and the green or maybe force this in and somehow get up the table. <laughs> Keeps applying the pressure on running. <laughs> and there we go, he, Marco's uh, That's a great shot. One. Oh, in an incredible position, really. In practice, you'd you'd win the frame from here ten times out of ten, but uh, Marco hasn't had a lot of. Time. <laughs> yeah, again, he he would really have. Now he's given Ronnie this opportunity. Are you doing this dropping this in for the pink? Yeah. Seven. No, yeah, he's played that shot, so yeah, this is pretty Fourteen. There's, there's really nothing difficult about this situation. The options and one of his strengths you know he's so good in the balls and he's always giving himself numerous options rush with Ronnie he, he's not rushed at all he's just 21. always perfect with the cue ball so you know being one in sort of seven eight nine minutes and it didn't come to much Played really well against him. Had a bit of a run in with the ref, with a couple of photographers. He's looked completely calm this afternoon, right from the start. 34. Yeah, and that's for me. Major, he was maybe a better raw, raw long potter, but um, he's, he's all around one. game now. When, it, when he was 43 in 1976. So it could be in a couple of years' time, O'Sullivan becomes the oldest. S snooker's a very, um, it's very fortunate to play self and an appetite for the game, that you can continue playing for a very long time, as, as Ronnie O'Sullivan and John Higgins 54. have shown. See, now that was a manipulated the cue ball to stun across like that by putting the pink in the right hand part of the pocket to create the angle. It's a great shot. 5 0. And uh, it's virtually impossible now. Sixty-eight. I mean, he loves this tournament anyway, but he's played so well this season, winning those three ranking events. I'm enjoying it as well. So it's not quite another century, but a great 75. Marco Fu. It's very, very tough. So Marco Fu getting frame six underway. He doesn't give much. You know, drawing running a Sullivan obviously is definitely the toughest draw. Um, yeah, you know, it's, it, it's it's very frustrating as a player. Seven. And one of the other players that you know maybe takes him a frame, just you know inch perfect position from the get go, and um, yeah, just player myself, you you have to admire it and uh, and try to learn from it as well. You know, you, you I think I really enjoy watching snooker, even um, if I get knocked out of a tournament. Obviously, I'm disappointed, but I think that there's players to learn from, like Ronnie O'Sullivan. Uh, that there's always things that you can pick up, and I love um, going on YouTube 23. and you know watching.
it's interesting to see you know how snooker how far it's come along you know, over the past 10 years and you know especially with all the chinese players coming through as well the two has never been as, as healthy or, or as masters this year the, we didn't have any the first four years not a single one um but uh yeah but you know that's just technology and sport same with Thank you oh, he's much. called a foul on himself. Oh. Not too interested in the double, I don't think. <coughs> uh, yeah, that's another prime example. One. Yeah, he's going to be super aggressive, like what I said he may do at 4-0. Oh, times in 23 previous appearances, so just on the lines, it's a tournament where it just seems to keep coming good. No, I know. Is that right? <laughs> I think Ronnie having a bit of fun with uh, some uh, punters on Twitter. This event, you know, you can put in as much practice as you want. There's no restrictions. Usually when we go to events with 128 players, one of the most special events on, on the calendar for sure. sure. Yeah, and probably part of Marco will be uh, hoping Ronnie clears up here because, you know, it's it Masters. Yeah, Ronnie still is, is the player who, who attracts the most. Six. Against it, just drawing him, but just seeing how well 14. he started, put the pressure. Six of them. And four of the ones he's missed have been irrelevant. Just incredible snooker, really. Well, contemplating the end. Sometimes you just got to do just that. Yeah, and that can happen, you know. Obviously, be disappointed, but you know he'll just hold his hands up and say he was just outplayed today by, 30. you know, one of one of the teams. So he's the greatest ever. I've, you know, he's definitely up there with the, you know, Fe what Federer is doing, perhaps. But Ronnie's longevity is the key. He just, you know, how long he's playing for and how long he's. he's 45. Yeah, and he's cl clearly still got hunger 46. for more. He's in great. He's made three centuries. Just play superbly. <laughs> 53. So Ronnie O'Sullivan off and running here at the Masters as he looks. 115. Nine minutes, and it's already ominous. Missed that pink, so the break ends. <laughs> Wouldn't be one of uh, Snooker's Hellraisers by any means. But a little bit thick. Oh, Sullivan couldn't be tempted. By the pot. And this time it's. <coughs> well, that was a, an unfortunate kiss because it pushed the. A little switched left handed. And the black must go. One. <coughs> Could be trouble for everyone, season, which is a lot. But we're only in January, so it just shows you how heavily he's been scoring. Because he didn't, but since then he's won three ranking events.
17. Twenty-five. Should have been high. Difficult to get to the next red. No thoughts 30. of maximum for running. Doesn't matter if it doesn't. Forty. To the red, to the right of the black, which leaves him on the red to the right corner. 48 56 well, about big bounces and kicks but what a recovery shot 64 <laughs> 67 left. Well, 67. even by foundational star. Oko Fu yet to pot a ball. Yeah, 17 minutes. It's taking the match. Very good cannon. 83. 90 minutes from the start. Everyone wanted to get in and take the seats to watch this. Ronnie O'Sullivan. Sullivan fifth. Oh, could be a half chance here for Marco Fu. But he's got a good cue ball. Marco Fu, especially if it goes in, which it has done from O'Sullivan. Straight back in again. Looking. Still hasn't actually missed. No. A pot when uh, the frame is well won. Well, Ryan Day. Twenty two. Marco Fu is completely one sided. He's at the table and playing like this. He played a good safety, Marco Fu. And just slotted it in. Fifty to zero. And still going. It's to pot one, really. Sixty seven. On every stat going thirty two and a half minutes. Oh, so it was a fifty. It was a seventy four clearance to follow. Everything so far. He trails three nil as he gets frame four and away. Instinct. <laughs> well, as David said, the two shots that Ronnie.
Kay really, really dug deep there. Showed great resolve to get the win. Lucky enough to play the safety down this end of the table just to have a few shots. Ninety-nine. The collection. One hundred and six. Pages up. He can tie the highest break. She's currently one three nine. Liang Wenbo. He's just playing exhibition shots here. Look at that for a positional shot. He's not bothered about the highest break. He just wants to entertain. One hundred and seventy. One hundred and twenty one. So one hundred and twenty in the first frame, one hundred and twenty one in the second. Marco Fu was educated in Canada. Another fantastic player. Lay up on this red. Uh, playing into the pack of reds. Played it well. Well, it was a dangerous thing to play that. Could play for the red to the left of the pink. Seven. Oh, well, because he never complains. Sixteen. There it is. Tried everything going clean. I took the opportunity to go into them and it's worked that one. And it's worked out 32. well. Just gets on with it. Thirty-eight. Forty-four. <coughs> I don't think meetings he's won the Masters seven times if ever there was a tournament made for Ronnie O'Sullivan it's this one one table a big London crowd no great surprise that he's favorite again this year and still big big tournaments to come including the world championship well he's caught it a little bit too thick the safe ticks five went on to win the title lightly hampered over the brown and the red pretty straight but O'Sullivan has done that. Been in 12 finals in the Masters. Seven. Finally. Yeah, in fact, some may argue that he's playing better now than... 13. Joe, in this tournament alone, he's earned just under 1.8 million, just in the Masters. <coughs> With his positional play, there wasn't a lot of room, look. Finished Thank ideal you. on the... I 
like he's been out there hours already. 29. 37. Didn't quite add it. Just one second, please, Ronnie. He's taken charge of a lot of rowdy matches in this tournament down the years, particularly at the old conference centre. Go into the Reds. Well, he could play for that less loose one. Probably thinks 52. And that's just the two corner pockets. <laughs> ah, that's a good recovery Thank shot. You. Thirties and in his forties. Sixty one. And it's snooker required. What a start. You see the really great players start off with a century break. 69. Been out there for the best part of a couple of hours. 76. Crowd appreciating that shot. It was a difficult one, made it look easy. 84. Here's this already this season. 91. 99. And just needed one chance here. Three. Absolutely super. An eight. Town this today. Concentrating on getting that cue bucket. being forced into taking this pot on, I think. And he's overcut it. So, O'Sullivan. Colour, that could be the problem. And he played up for the brown. Who going in the right corner, uh, the right middle. That couldn't get. Six. He's over. Had <laughs> enough for the red into the middle. And this is a difficult one. Again, made it look easy. Nineteen. Twenty-seven. Thirty-three. Stephen Hendry was an unbelievable to 38. still be doing this at the age of forty-two. Hendry retired when he was forty-three, he dropped out. One hundred and sixteen balls to none. At all, Foo. Just the odd shot. I mean, here he was kind of forced into a very difficult pot to the middle. Success, 98%. So you put the two together. 53. 60. 65. Yeah, 66. it's going to be 4-0 and... This reflects the play. Fu has not potted a single glove and could Seven. be about to make his third century here. 71. 
this is the result. 77. 78. Made into play. 86. At his absolute best. 93. Just looks so focused right from the start. And this yellow. Hit. 100. Well, it had been four centuries. He broke down on 50. 103. The third frame. 